children today we will start with bohr's model of atom first we will discuss development leading to this bohr's model of atom there is interaction of radiation and matter and these interaction will leads to bohr's model of atom first related to these interaction we will study about dual character of electromagnetic radiation that is emr this dual character is particle and wave second is experimental results regarding to atomic spectra that is quantized electronic energy level in atom we will learn about each meaning first we will start with dual nature of electromagnetic radiations before we start for dual nature we will learn about electromagnetic radiations what are these electromagnetic radiation in wave nature first james maxwell in 1870 he was the first who gave a detailed explanation about interaction between charged body and electric and magnetic field he suggested that when a charged body like electron when it will move under acceleration then it will generate perpendicular electric field and magnetic field as you can see from this moving cursor this is the electron it is our charged body it is moving and losing energy so it is accelerating as well as and during this moving charged body under acceleration there will be generation of perpendicular electric field and magnetic field that is e electric field and b is magnetic field these fields are transmitted in form of electromagnetic radiations or electromagnetic waves in 19th century wave nature of light was established before that light radiations were supposed to be like particle nature maxwell was the first to reveal that light waves are associated with these two fields that are electric field and magnetic field like our electromagnetic radiations these are associated with these two field that is electric field and magnetic field when a charged body moves under acceleration perpendicular electric field and magnetic field are generated and the waves or radiation transmitted are known as electromagnetic radiation so maxwell he revel that these electromagnetic radiations or waves are associated with e and b that is electric field and magnetic field he said similarly light waves are also associated with these two field that is electric field and magnetic field so we can compare these electromagnetic radiation with light wa waves or light radiations we will take properties of electromagnetic radiation before we start for the properties we will take some definitions that we use while defining the properties first is frequency it is new number of waves that pass a given point in one second number of waves passing through a point per second is frequency unit is hertz that is capital h small z that is h z or second inverse next is wavelength that is lambda it is the distance between two successive crest or two successive trough this is the distance distance the unit is 
length meet length unit that is meter so si unit for this wavelength is meter or centimeter next we will take wave number represented by new bar number of wavelength per unit length or it is simply reciprocal of wavelength that is 1 upon lambda si unit is opposite to this wavelength that is meter inverse or centimeter inverse c is speed of light that is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second or 3 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter per second relation between frequency and wavelength can be written as c is equal to nu lambda or nu is equal to c upon lambda c is constant for light so nu and lambda are inversely proportional to each other so for any radiation if frequency increases then wavelength decreases now we will take properties of electromagnetic radiation with compared to light radiations these are the three axes three dimensions we are uh, showing that is x y z perpendicular to each other in z axis we have shown electric field that is by dotted line electric field is generated by dotted or shaded line and in z axis we are showing this magnetic field by dark line and in x axis we are getting these perpendicular electric and magnetic field transmitted in form of electromagnetic waves or electromagnetic radiations the oscillating electric field and magnetic field produced by oscillating charged particle perpendicular to each other and both are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave this is for electric field this is magnetic field perpendicular to each other and this is the propagation or direction of generated electric field and magnetic field this is again perpendicular so first second property of this electromagnetic radiation is emr do not require any medium these radiation can move in vacuum but sound waves require medium electromagnetic radiations are differ from each other in wavelength or frequency we use different unit for representing electromagnetic radiation that is meter meter inverse for wave number meter for wave length hertz for frequency and so on now we are taking spectrum of electromagnetic radiation spectrum is spreading or separation of radiations on the basis of frequency and wavelength these radiations are gamma rays x rays ultraviolet visible infrared microwaves radio waves these radiations are differ in frequency and wavelength if we start from gamma rays to radio waves if we move then frequency will decreases that is from 10 to the power 24 to 10 to the power 0 hertz and wavelength that is 10 to the power minus 18 to 10 to the power 8 meter wavelength increases if we take this visible zone that is vibigor violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red this zone is in between 400 to 750 nanometer or we can take 4000 armstrong to 
सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आर्मस्ट्रॉन्ग इन दिस जोन दिस विजिबल जोन इज देयर दिस विजिबल जोन वॉयलेट टू रेड इफ वी मूव देन फ्रीक्वेंसी डिक्रीजेस वेवलेंथ इंक्रीजेस सो इन ओवरऑल आई कैन से दैट इफ आई चूज रेड जोन एंड इफ आई मूव फ्रॉम रेड जोन टू ब्लू जोन देन रेड जोन इज एट लोअर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड ब्लू इज एट हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी in overall as frequency decreases wavelength increases radio frequency that is 10 raised to power 6 hertz this is radio frequency used for broadcasting microwaves 10 raised to power 10 hertz for radar system it is used infrared that is 10 raised to power 13 hertz for heating it is used ultraviolet 10 raised to power 16 hertz this is the radiation that is found in sun or light radiation and harmful for earth and due to these radiation global warming or depletion of ozone layer is there 10 raised to power 15 hertz that is visible zone phenomenon of diffraction and interference can be explained on the basis of this wave nature of electromagnetic radiation now diffraction diffraction is bending of wave around an obstacle this is the surface or obstacle this is the wave bending of this wave around an obstacle is diffraction next is interference interference is combination of two waves of same or different frequency same direction same frequency different direction different frequency to give a wave whose distribution at each point in space is the algebraic or vector sum of disturbance at that point resulting from each interfering wave these are the two waves that is psi a psi b psi is wave function and if these two waves are in same direction or different direction then the resulting waves can be represented as psi a plus minus b plus when resulting waves in the direction of the interfering waves and if the resulting waves is opposite to the or depends upon the magnitude of the interfering waves in different direction then it will be represented by psi a minus psi b now we will take particle nature of electromagnetic radiation these four phenomenon was not explained by wave nature these phenomenon are the nature of emission of radiation from hot bodies or black body radiation photoelectric effect variation of heat capacity of solid as function of temperature line spectrum of hydrogen these were not explained by wave nature so particle nature of electromagnetic radiation was discussed first we will take black body radiation or emission radiation of hot bodies when solids are heated they emit radiation over a wide range of wavelength for example if we take a iron rod and heat it in a furnace first it will turn to dull red while we are continuously heating it it will turn to more and more red ultimately it will change to white and then further more heating it will change to blue children we have already discussed in vibgyor red lower frequency 
radiation are of lower frequency at red zone or red region and when we move from red to blue frequency increases so this frequency increase is function of temperature when we heat when we are increasing the temperature frequency of the radiation increases in terms of frequency as we increase temperature frequency goes from lower to higher region we begin red to blue frequency increases now the ideal body what is black body we are taking this part the ideal body which emit or absorb radiation of all frequencies is called black body children remember it is ideal body and the radiation emitted such a body is known as black body radiation if we draw exact frequency distribution curve that is frequency versus lambda intensity we can write frequency or intensity then for different temperature we will take first we are taking at low temperature that is t1 t2 is greater than t1 so at low temperature we are taking as wavelength decreases we are moving in this curve from right to left as wavelength decreases frequency increases at a given temperature it will reaches up to a maximum and then further it will start decreasing initially at max until this maximum nu and lambda are inversely proportional to each other that means as wavelength decreases frequency increases reaches to maximum after this maxima as we keep on decreasing the frequency from 2000 to 1000 we are approaching as this wavelength decreases frequency will also decrease similarly if we move on to the temperature t2 that is greater than t1 in the same way the curve will act as we decrease the wavelength frequency increases reaches up to maximum and again will start decreases and reaches to minimum this frequency distribution curve is showing that emission or absorption of radiation will be always in distributed manner that is first your iron rod from dull red to it will change more red to red than white to blue directly it will not go to dull red to blue so if these radiations are absorbed or emitted in continuous manner then we should have get this frequency distribution curve in form of straight line but this curve is first it will start from minimum frequency reaches to maximum frequency by decrease in wavelength and further it will start decreasing with decrease in wavelength this curve is showing distribution curve is showing that absorption or emission of energy is in discrete manner it is not in continuous so this emission of radiation is explained by particle nature planck further suggested that atoms molecules emit or absorb energy in discrete or distributed discrete that is divided in short forms quantity and not in a continuous manner smallest quantity of energy absorb or emit is quantum 
so in form of electromagnetic radiation we can write e is equal to h nu or e is equal to nu is equal to c upon lambda so we can write e is equal to h c upon lambda where h is planck's constant the value is 6.62 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second e is the energy of electromagnetic radiation that is absorbed or emitted new frequency and lambda that is wavelength so planck was able to explain distribution of intensity from black body as a function of wavelength and frequency with temperature now we will take photoelectric effect phenomenon was observed by hertz in 1887 photoelectric effect is phenomenon of ejection of electron when certain metal like potassium rubidium cesium were exposed to beam of light this is the vacuum chamber metal surface other terminal of this vacuum chamber is fitted with a detector further a meter and high voltage source is there when beam of light light radiation is exposed to this metal surface then phenomenon of ejection of electron is observed this is known as photoelectric effect now we will take results of this phenomenon first is as soon as the beam of light strike to this metal surface electrons are ejected children there is no time lag between striking of light radiation to this metal surface to result phenomenon of ejection of electron there is no time lag second number of ejected electron is directly proportional to intensity or brightness of these light radiations third the frequency below which photoelectric effect is not observed is known as threshold frequency it is the minimum frequency required to ejection of electron is threshold frequency new not if we expose the light radiation more than this new not then the extra frequency is taken by the electron in form of kinetic energy and in this way electrons are ejected if we take one example if new not that is threshold frequency for potassium metal it is 5.0 into 10 raised to power 14 hertz this is the frequency required for photoelectric effect minimum frequency that is threshold frequency if light of frequency that is 4.3 to 4.6 into 10 raised to power 14 hertz in red zone it is red zone is low frequency less than this threshold frequency we are exposing this light to potassium metal the metal will only shine but no photoelectric effect electrons will not ejected lower frequency light we have taken from this threshold frequency now if second case we are exposing light of yellow zone that is red zone is lower frequency yellow zone is comparatively of higher frequency 5.1 to 5.2 into 10 raised to power 14 hertz this is more than this threshold frequency 5.0 is threshold frequency so nu is greater than nu naught in this case the metal surface will shine as well as photoelectric phenomenon is also observed so we can conclude that as the brightness or intensity of light radiation increases 
photo electric effect phenomenon increases and the minimum frequency required is threshold frequency and the extra energy above this threshold frequency is used up by the electron in form of kinetic energy so that it can leave or it can move out from the metal surface. Now we will take mechanism of photoelectric effect. The mechanism was explained by Einstein by using Planck's quantum theory. Quantum that was the smallest particle of energy. Energy is used in distributed manner. So this is the metal surface. This is the electron that is binded on the metal surface. We are exposing the light radiation to this metal surface. The smallest unit of this light radiation is photon. So if the photon of sufficient energy will be exposed to this electron on metal surface this photon will strike with the electron there will be collision between photon and electron and due to this collision this photon will transfer its energy to the electron if this energy is more than threshold frequency then this electron will move out from the metal surface and the phenomenon of photoelectric effect is observed. We can conclude that greater is the energy of photon, greater will be the transfer of energy from photon to surface electron and greater will be the kinetic energy. In other way, if the difference of nu and nu naught that is the work function nu naught is the work function minimum energy required for ejection of electron if the difference is maximum between this nu and nu naught maximum will be the transfer of energy and maximum will be the kinetic energy of the electron and the phenomenon of photoelectric effect. If the striking photon energy is E is equal to H nu if we write then the minimum energy required or threshold energy or work function can be written as E naught is equal to H nu naught. So E minus E naught will be equal to kinetic energy. The difference of this maximum energy and this threshold energy or work function. The difference between these two energy is equal to kinetic energy. We can write it H nu minus H nu dot is equal to kinetic energy. Or we can take this H common then H nu minus nu naught is equal to half mv square. So frequency of light radiation, brightness of light radiation is directly proportional to photoelectric effect. The significance of this phenomenon is particle nature was justified by photoelectric effect.